Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well today. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. So the Apollo 11 story popped up on my dashboard. Um, and of course, if you believe the conspiracy theories, um, the renowned director Stanley Kubrick was supposedly had directed and put this whole production together. So let's have a look. So this all deals with, of course, the first moon landing. And the race to the moon was on. Superpowers were at each other, right? So what we're going to do in this episode is we'll look at the sequence of events July 16 to the 24th in terms of the Apollo launch and moon landing. And I believe it was on the 20th that he landed on the moon. So we'll look at that date as well within that sequence and then we're also going to look at Stanley Kubrick and we're going to look at the dates that he passed as well. Now of course there are other role players involved. Um, we can possibly look at that but let's focus on the actual moon landing as well as the theory that Stanley Kubrick um, was involved if this was a hoax. So we'll go in the moon sequence, let's call it that. Um, and let's see what we get out here. Uh, so we've already got a problem. Look at that top row. All the sevens here. One, two, three sevens. Now, a seven in the aeronautical world and aviation world is seven. However, when you have a build-up of sevens, this becomes problematic. So if Elon Musk called me this morning or called me two days ago and said, this is the date we're launching number four of his rocket ship, the fourth attempt. And these are the numbers that we're going to do it in. I'll say, is it possible to do it on a different day? Because when you have all these sevens, you're going to have chaos, catastrophe out of balance, out of sync, out of kilter in relation to sevens. So I believe the flight was just after 8 a.m. So you, we got all these sevens in play. We've got a 14.5 as well. More sevens. And if we know from the crime shows, 14.5 is a lie. We've got a 33. Now, what you're gonna, what I'm gonna have to do, what I've just realised, is also so we'll go on an or an aeronautical point of view, flight aviation, but we also need to go on a film uh, perspective as well. And when you're dealing with people with film, you will find sevens. A lot of people in the film industry 
even music or in fame. Uh, in fact, I mentioned in the upcoming book um, on the 27 Club, a lot of famous people will have at least one seven in their profile. And usually those people that are called to fame also have sevens. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick is telling me to hurry up. I'm babbling. Um, there's obviously a big reveal coming up, is there? So the day of the flight. The day of the flight. We have four sevens. Unfortunately, I mean, we'll validate, we'll validate. But 14.5 is problematic. Now, the 33 here is problematic. Because if you want to take it on a big show extravaganza level, from a film perspective or entertainment perspective, this is like a showpiece. The big show for the masses. If you want to put a flying object on this day in this time zone, so let's say anywhere from midnight, I would say till about even sunset, um, you're going to have problems. So the day that the launch took place, things are already not looking good. So let's see here. Uh, the grand master plan, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, interesting as well. Look here. So 22.4, I'm going to flag it as orange, the plan, the big plan. Now, 13.4 in the world of literature and writing <laughs> is the story. Yeah, the story has begun. Apollo 11 is on the way to the moon to the first ever moon, moon landing. We'll look at the days as an overview. I oh, beg your pardon. Uh, we'll look at the days as an overview once we have them all out. But I'm just going to pick up uh, key moments as we go and then we'll look at everything properly. Anything that stands out. So the 189 now, now if we take it from, again, I'm just reminding if you're just tuning in from a theater film entertainment extravaganza show which it is I mean by any means to replicate this kind of production in 1969 is quite an undertaking it's probably the one Oscar he never received that he should have received <laughs> so 16.7 is the stage performance is the performance Sixteen seven is the human stage performance with the film outcome. Sixteen 
Now this is from an entertainment and um, aeronautical perspective. Look at all the sevens around town here. This, nah. I mean, it wouldn't be funny because obviously, as we know, every step in space needs to be calculated by 10 different people to confirm. Okay, make the next step. Go. Dunk. Dick. 10 more calculations. Okay, move your next foot. Duck. But yet these guys, when they were doing it, they were bouncing like kangaroos, did he say? They were bouncing like kangaroos on the moon. Yet when Elon Musk and his team go to space, it's stop. Okay, 10 people. Okay, open the door. One latch. 10 people. Okay. So 89 is the big idea. Is the big idea. Nine, 9 is the idea. Brought about by performance art. Performance art 8. Human physical performance art. So I wonder who the three... Um, uh, spacemen were actually who actually did that role because unfortunately I'm seeing a death here as well there's a 31-4 someone was murdered here that's what's bothering me as well actually why would there be a death here when everything went successfully So now we're getting to, so, okay, let's flag this as the day of days. Let's see. Uh, um, Transactional, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, 1910-1, transactional. Famous number from our crime shows, 26-8, the stage is your oyster. The big stage event, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you through film 7, News to the World. The great master creative plan 336. I'm so glad I'm seeing 336 in a creative light for a change. 336 is the spark. I'm actually a life path 336. Creative builder create new projects create ideas the big creative plan right here my goodness do we want to go on <laughs> and this 15.6 now I saw it here whenever you have these hoaxes or so-called conspiracy theorists it's like we'll call it a ufo um, but when there's a 15-6 around there's a perversion of the truth as well a perversion there's a lie 14-5 perversion of the truth about humanity humans weren't going to the moon for the first time bullshit So look here, the great idea, the big creative idea, 24-6 by familiar, by known people. 15-6, bullshit to D. Um...
transactional 1910.1. If, if, oof. I would just say if, if anyone wants to do this in their spare time, it's a bit of a task. But research and see what aviation situations happened during July in 1969. Were there any kind of aviation situations of the like, right? So aviation industry. It can also allude to transport, but in this case, aviation. Because I certainly would not advise anyone to fly during this time. So unfortunately something is up here. Let's have a look at right, so Stanley Kubrick. See there, he's got the sevens, which is an industry number, the twenty-six eight, the great performer, the stage maker, the stage master, ten, eighteen, twenty-two to the masses, performance art through film to the masses. Um and there it is, 336. Ladies and gentlemen, 336. And he ends with a 358, which is drama in the industry. 178, performance through film and art. Eight. Wow. So for me, the standout is, of course, the 33.6. Because that's, that is the genius, create, that is the creative genius behind Stanley Kubrick. See, confirmed as well, 15.6. Insane, no? Eh? 17.8. Look here. 17.8. Seventeen eight. Twenty six eight. It's pinging on Stanley like a Christmas tree. Seven. Look at that. It's all there, eight as well. Doesn't matter, I said this to a client and special viewer. Um, it doesn't matter how the number is derived. If it's the same number, it's the same number. Eight, eight. Look at that. So here we've got sevens. Look at that. No coincidences here. So he's got the sevens here. He's got all the sevens. Six significant direct match. 
15, 6, 17, 8. So if we had to just show you, so we got for him will be the sevens. Remember, it's a show. He's not necessarily there. It's been projected. So he's not necessarily there, but he's there. He starts being reflected immediately. All the sevens belong to Mr. Kubrick. 14.5, by the way, is also the life path number of the US. 14.5. The 12 threes and that are all CIA numbers. Those people. But on the summary and reflection day, I will take this bingo card and put it in the bank. All right, so let's have a look at when Mr. Stanley Kubrick passed. Well, we later believe this is the date. 1928. I'm going to go like this, because this is very interesting. How did, how did Kubrick die? I'm sorry, I don't know how he passed. Because this is interesting. Look at all these 10 ones here. I almost want to say... So I don't know how he passed. I have I have zero knowledge of it. Um, but where did I see? The, yeah, so he's got the twenty-two year. Now I'm, the the feeling I'm getting it's like a bit of a setup stage performance going on here. It's like this is how it. it I stand to be corrected, but it feels like a bit of a setup death. Or well, he may have passed you, but. Uh, or did he? Stand by. <laughs> when was he born? 28. So that's 7 70. Wow, he must be in his late 90s now, man. All right, so let's just see what is going on here. So with the eight, 11, two. Something's not adding up here, to be honest. Let's just see. Twenty two forced. Yeah, um, oof. Was this was his death staged? Oh my goodness! I know zero about whatever happened. Eight, nine, ten. Look at all these ten ones here, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this re in recent episodes. Ten one transactional nature. Transactional nature. And we recall, where, where are the 10? Yeah, so on the reflection day, we have a 1910 one year. So he's performed his duties. He's put on a show from his ideas. And that's it. Wow. 
So look here, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 4, 23, 5, 14, 5, I think he faked his death here, yeah. did he fake his death? I, I know zero of what, how and what. I always heard rumors about the, um, him having produced footage or created the moon landing and he was trying to tell everyone um, through the movie The Shining, right? That he actually, apparently there's messaging in The Shining if you haven't seen it, uh, that Kubrick had directed about uh, Apollo 11. I've never looked at this case in my life until now. And I'm recording this on June 7. June 7. At currently is 7, just past 7 p.m. Central African time 2024. So the first sign... Now this is why it's even more interesting, because this was well planned by the way. The 13-4 is the first sign, first, first, first sign of death. Now you may argue and say, well it falls in the reflection day, yes, true. But remember the 13-4 is also the writer. The author, the grand story, 22-4. Uh, this is what I'm getting. I may be way off. But let's, let's, let's just have a look to see what happens before. My goodness. I thought I was going to be looking at the moon. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, my Transactional, ladies and gentlemen. 1910 one, the day before. Deal's been done. You know what to do. You must do this then and so on and so on. Look here. So if we had now, I made a decision to just do 10-1, right? Because technically, technically I can still go 28-10-1, right? Now I will do that in certain circumstances if I want to go deep, deep and to get more information. So when I looked at it visually just to see, I picked up this. Thirty-seven, ten, one. The higher ups. The higher ups are in play, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show twenty as well. It's also just like for the masses. Look at all these tens here. It's bullshit. Bullshit. There's something wrong here. Tens all the way. Outcome fourteen five. Bullshit. A lie. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a bit. Six five. Uh, let's see a thirty so we got a thirty six nine eighteen nine
Who died yeah? So we've got a death on this day, yeah? Huh? And it's a murder. What are we getting? What are we coming across here, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on here? So the next day will reflect on Stanley Kubrick. I'm just trying to see if there's any other matches here. Of course, there's an eight. This is this could be problematic here. There's an eight in the middle. There's an eight. He's a life path eight. Or was he murdered before and then said to have died on March the 7th? Something's not adding up here. I haven't done any research. I know i am been in the full ministry and all that, but Stanley Kubrick was obviously way before my time. Um, I mean, who, who can forget the scene from The Shining, right? <laughs> There's lots of memorable scenes. And I was just like a little kid then. All right, so let's have a look here. We're going back in time. Um, 35, 8. The Grand Show. Eh? See, uh, he's, all, he's very present here. And then the next day... Um, 36, 9, 89, definitely decision power making going on here. This, this day here impacts Kubrick directly, huh? And there's a seven there as well, which is not a good thing. Hmm. See there? See there? My concern is yeah, this is a death, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, a murder, right? Yeah. Murder. Because the number, the day that supposedly he passes, I'm not seeing death here at all. He has no death. He has no death. Yeah, it can be, I mean, if we really want to not stretching it now, 22.4 can be like a hospital. Thirteen four. Something's not adding up here. We've been spun a lie. We've been spun a lie. We've been spun a lie. Within a lie. Within the. I mean, how 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 much do we need to go in for? The Curious Case of Stanley Kubrick. So I'm definitely getting a murder here. Let me just see. So the eight, you see the eight pings directly here on Kubrick as well. Huh? And this is where the murder is taking place. Now, the, I haven't said much about this actually. 28.10.1. There's deals and agreements that were met and made and blah, blah, blah. And people are angry and a deal is a deal. But the 28.10.1 can also speak about speaking about what happened. Like, was Stanley Kubrick thinking of 
coming out with the truth somehow. Or that holding on to the truth is, was too much of a burden. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, that's an Oscar performance on its own. But I, in my opinion, the the murder's done. It's done. It's here. So I would say, if if worst case scenario, before this line, yeah, he would have been dead, or that that death had occurred, yeah. So that would have been sunset of March the 6th. The death as... There's a death here. Where did I see that... Uh, yeah. 31.4. Beg your pardon. This 31.4 is also talking about a death, eh? See here, 18.9. Someone was murdered here as well. Should we have a look at what happened before June, July the 16th? I'm picking up a death there. Someone died. Uh, there's that 15-6 again. 22-4, the big plan. Thirteen four. It also speaks about death. There's Kubrick. There's Kubrick's numbers there. 22. 20 with an outcome 2. See this 13 for you. That's what you can also call the screenplay. Thirteen four on the reflection day of the supposed death of Stanley Kubrick. But I'm seeing it here. Yeah. Murder. So let's just see here. So the 22 pings on Stanley Kubrick there. The 15-6. Let's just go one more day back. But I, I believe it's quite convincing <laughs> um, that once again, the wool was pulled over the world's eyes out of... Um, a need to be better than another country. Um, 21-3. 12-3. Look what we have here, the 28-10-1. Nineteen ten one Coincidence or not? 
click here Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the hoax. Unfortunately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are. I do love engaging with your comments. Please stay safe, stay alert, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.